Hello friends, my name is Tina Kavergich and my company name is Northern Stamper. Uh, if you need to reach me, you can always drop me an email at northernstamper at gmail.com. I'm a Canadian independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to bring to you today this fabulous uh, polymer stamp set called Gift Wrapped. It also comes in a bundle, which means that for 10% off, you can get the gift wrapped, which has all these fantastic bows and a punch that comes along with it for 10% off. And what I'm going to do is this is found in the August to December mini catalog. If you do not have one, drop me a comment below and I'll pop one in the mail for you. And on page 12 is the stamp set here, uh, gift wrap bundle. It is a great deal at $42.25 uh, plus shipping and tax. There are 12 polymer stamps in here. And like I said, if you want to make it into a bundle, the gift wrap uh, bow, the uh, Builder Punch is an extra $24, but if you get it as a bundle, it is 10% off. So this stamp set is fantastic, and what I'm going to do is show you a very quick, fun, and easy stamp card with this, uh, this set. And what you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, uh, some Mossy Meadow cardstock, and some ink pads. I'm going to be using Pear Pizzazz. Just Jade, this is a new in color, fantastic, and Mossy Meadow uh, to make this. And I am also going to be using a piece of DSP, which is actually just another name for pretty cardstock. And we will be putting this together. So join me along. Remember, Northern Stamper, don't forget to comment below. So let's get started. We are going to use some of the stamps out of this stamp set. We're going to use actually this little bow here. So let's start with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp some mossy meadow uh, with the bow. And I'm going to be putting it along in two, kind, two rows. So I'm going to ink it up and a pat and turn. And what I'm going to do here is make sure that I pick up enough ink from all the way around. So I'm just going to put it on a bit of an angle and press and down. Isn't that fantastic? I just love how this turns out. And each time I press, I'm just going to uh, turn it a little bit and make sure it's inked all the way up. And there we go. Just keep going. I'm going to keep going down. I'm actually going to fall off the page here and so it keeps going and put another one on this way. So I'm going to be kind of turning it left and right. You'll see that. So that is with the mossy meadow. Now I'm going to be changing ink pads and I am going to be moving into the pear pizzazz, a little lighter color than the mossy meadow. Now I don't want to mix the, the colors, so I'm going to use my simple chamois and clean off the ink. This is fantastic. You just run it underwater and it cleans all the ink off. So I'm going off. to go in between now with the pear pizzazz and I'm going to ink it up. And I've left enough space in between each one and I am again going on the angles there in between. There we go. Add a little bit up here. So there are, now you'll notice there are two rows of the dark in the mossy meadow and the light in the pear pizzazz. We are going to just add one more element to it. And in the stamp set are these fantastic little stars. And we're going to be using them. They're right there. And we're going to be pulling them out and we are going to put them on the block and we are going to add in the color of the just jade this is the new in color fantastic it is such a beautiful color so we're going to ink that up and we're going to put our stars in between all of the little bows here here and there going down there we go, adding some color, some element. There we go. We're just gonna keep going. Uh, add some over there. Don't be afraid to fall off the page. It does help uh, kind of bring some of the, um, the design a little further out. So a little bit here. This is going to turn out, see how the colors all come together? Love stamping up colors. They, they, they just blend together so nicely. Okay, there we go. 
And what we're going to do next is we are just going to add that strip of DSP paper. Now you can use any kind that you like. I just use this little one from some of the, the holiday one. And I'm just gonna add that. This is an inch and a half strip. And I'm going to be placing that there, right about there along the edge. There we go. There we go. Now, let's add a little bit more to it. Let's toss in some copper thread. So, see how that looks. Whoops. Get a little piece off. And I'm just going to wrap that around. And I'm just going to tape that onto the back. Okay. There we go. I can use that for a little part on this side. Oops. I want to make sure it stays there. And I had a little left over. Let's see if we can get a tiny little tied bow. I want to use all my little pieces. There we go. Now, there we go. We could just leave it like that and put a sentiment on, or let's give it a try with one of the larger bows and using the bow punch and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to pull off one of these colors. I'm going to use the mossy meadow. I want that a little bit darker. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to put it along the edge so that it slips into the the punch easier. This is an easy and fast way to make cards. So just fill it in here, line it up. Sometimes it just takes a minute or two. Good. There we go. And we just punch it out. So if I wanted to add this, I can add it like right there and put my sentiment across. Or I can just add it right there. So let us pull up a sentiment and see how we can finish off the card. So I'm going to use the sentiment that comes says uh, celebrate in style. Once again, I'm going to be using my mossy meadow so it is a little darker so that you can see. And I'm just going to make a very, very simple kind of tag. So I'm going to stamp it in there. I'm just going to use my trimmer and just trim that up. Very simple little square for that. There we go. And I'm going to tuck that in underneath. And what I'm going to use is some dimensionals to pop up my my little bow there. I want it to stand up, give it some depth. Put it right up there. Going to add some adhesive to my sentiment, and I'm just going to tuck it in like that. It's almost done, and I just need to add it to the the cardstock. There we go. And there is our finished card. Fantastic, all in green, ready for mailing. What do you think?